If Joshua was worried about Jill, I should go and speak with him. Thank me later. Do my best work, but it'll do. You're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we've returned from Drake's spine, I've felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. To let her know that we still need her, now more than ever that you still need her. But how to do that? When last we were truly close, we were but children. Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied Father on his annual tour of the Duchy? And Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill? <laughs> to see the snow daisies, I remember. It was the first time Father had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. In the rain. A thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say, he was none too pleased. Then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. What do you say? Man's Hill. It's not that far. True. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? <laughs> I'm saying we should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? There's something about it. Ah, oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Your benefactors are a generous lot. You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid.
This is the place, but... I'm sorry, Clive. There's no weapon spared. What do we do now? We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but... It's the only place I know of. You, of. Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Someone at the backyard? To the hideaway, then. Let's hope one of the gardeners knows where to find snow daisies. Say what you will. brings you down from the heavens, Sid. I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Thank you. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrek. Ah, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Whose shores border the meadows. Off we go then. It's usually me making demands of Hippocrates. I wonder what this is about. Hippocrates. I received your note. Ah, yes. I expect you're wondering what this is all about. <laughs> you spoke of making amends with Dion. But I can't imagine what for. Then I should begin by telling you that I was once his tutor. This was some years ago, of course, before I joined Sid in his hideaway. At that time, I was counted among the foremost scholars of Oriflam and was accordingly invited to the palace to supervise the young prince's education. 
all to ensure that the future emperor had a firm grounding in, well, everything an emperor should. History, religion, commerce, government. Alas, our time together was cut short when Dion left to join the Dragoons. His studies no longer being deemed necessary. I had not expected to meet with him again, least of all here. Have you spoken with him? No, I... <laughs> I have yet to find the right moment. His Highness always seems so preoccupied, especially when alone. I would not wish to disturb his ruminations with idle words of greeting. Not when I know he dwells upon the evil Ultima had him commit in the Dominion. The guilt weighs heavily on him, I know. But as you say, that was Ultima's doing. Surely you can't blame yourself. When I first met him, it was not guilt, but his people's expectations that weighed heavily upon him. And I did nothing to ease that burden. He bore it alone. Until the day he could not bear it any longer. It is one of my greatest regrets that I only ever offered him my wisdom when what he truly needed was friendship. The blame for Dion's transgressions lies not only on his shoulders, but on mine. I see. I'm ready to help you in any way that I can. Then I beg that you bring me a wild wyvern tale. Apothecaries across the ages agree that even to glimpse such a flower is to be granted inner solace. Fabulists and fraudsters all, of course. But there is oft a seed of truth to be found where even the most outlandish opinions align. Well, it can't hurt to try. Where can I find this flower? And how will I know it? You have seen cultivated wyvern tales before, I trust. The lily-white blossoms from whose roots the poisonous ink for the brand is distilled. Well, those which grow in the wild differ only in their purple hue. The harsher the environment in which they are raised, the deeper the colour. There is a waterfall in Rickmal's roost across the strait, where the flowers once grew in abundance. Whether they still survive there, I know not. But try as I might, I can find no likelier location. It's all right. I'll find you a wife and tail one way or another. Thank you, Clive. And please, be safe. Knowledge hoarded is knowledge lost. I have a few new notes that might interest you. You wish to study the tomes? Start. Yote mentioned the coastline. We can start there.
What do you see, boy? Let's hope this is the last one. Only one way to find out. Attack! That was harder than I expected. But found her. It was worth it. They're beautiful. Do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? Jill, there's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? It's, uh, not here. Now, I know this is sudden, but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam? There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or... <laughs> Try to. How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. 
but I felt wonderful nonetheless. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. And from there I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... No matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That, that you... That you would always come for me. And you have. Again and again. Where do you see us? Where all this is over? I don't know. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then... That's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. much good at garlands, but it'll have to do. I'll treasure it forever. Thank you, Clive, for this, the flowers, for everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. <laughs>